Hello and welcome my beautiful Intentional Intention ASMR Collective. Today, I am doing a private one-on-one reading, tarot reading that is, for my friend Diki ASMR. And that's going to be the first half of the video. The second half of the video are going to be some dowsing rod questions that she had that I really look forward to seeing what spirit guides are going to be able to answer. So to start off with, we have a tarot reading in regards to relationship. Specifically, I'm doing a five-card spread for seeing the future of a relationship. And this five-card spread is going to give you an indication of what areas within the relationship need a little bit more focus, as well as how you and a partner can grow together. So of course, partner is all very subjective, so what I would... Uh, request of you, Diki, is to get yourself in a very relaxed state and start to think about this relationship, this person, and what they mean to you and what you want them to mean to you. And so we're going to pull out five cards that are going to indicate the aura around the relationship, the area that needs more attention, areas of growth what you should pay attention to, and what is most likely the outcome. So now take your shoes off, sit down, get in a really relaxed and comfortable state. And right now, my spirit guides are helping me choose which cards to pull for this wonderful, custom, and expressive reading that we have around relationships. I'm going to go ahead and lay them out and get them in a little more order. As you know, I love order and it is a very important to me. Very good. So the first card, like I said, is around the aura of the current relationship. So this is kind of kind of the present. This is kind of where we're at right now. And for that, you drew... the tower. Now the tower always, almost always indicates some sort of change. And in this upright position, it suggests that maybe it's dramatic change that is eminent. And it may be necessary for a step of your growth and transformation. So this could be the wake up call that is allowing you to reevaluate priorities so that you can make this relationship mean something more. So the second card is the area that needs attention. And for that, you drew the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is interference, and that is you may be feeling trapped right now. You might feel a little bit smothered in a relationship, or it might even be a stale partnership that you feel like maybe you can't leave. And I'm here to tell you that you do have a choice. And that is an area to pay attention to. Now, this next area is the area for growth. And for the area of growth, you got the Two of Cups. Now, the Two of Cups is also typically a love card, which is also means attraction and coming together. If you look at the amount of abundance that is overflowing from that lotus flower into those cups, that could be you. This could be the beginning of something that is big and even better than before. Card number three is what you should pay attention to. And for that, you got the Three of Cups. Now, the Three of Cups, again, like I said, is abundance. Look at all that energy and that love and that water flowing freely from cup to cup. And what you should pay attention to now is happiness. Because look at that. You have love and abundance in that third and fourth position. That is amazing. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. So you, Diki, are a very, very lucky person for whatever you want this expectation to be. Now, the final card is the most likely outcome. And for that, you got the Knight of Discs. Um, The Knight of Discs can be described as loyal, responsible, ambitious, and hard working. And it's typically an indicator of working very methodically 
to get towards achieving whatever mutual you goal you have in this relationship. So thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. And let's get down to a couple of dowsing rod questions as well. You're the best. Here we go. For the second half of today's custom Diki ASMR video, I'm going to be doing some dowsing rods or having a dowsing rod session with questions that DK ASMR would like me to ask. If you've seen these videos before, you know that I take two copper dowsing rods and I simply use them to ask questions. And before we can ask any questions, we actually need to set these rods. And the way that we do that is we find out who we're talking to and we do a little bit of pre-work. So these are just copper rods, the same ones I've, I've used in other videos. And the way I'm going to set them is so that you can see them in front of my chest here. So, if you are here with me today and willing to answer some questions, please cross the rods to indicate yes. A very slow indicating yes, but thank you so much for that. Please open the rods wide to indicate no. Okay, very good. That is very wide. Thank you. Am I speaking with my spirit guide today? Slow no. Am I speaking with my higher self today? Yes, I'm speaking to my higher self. Very good. Thank you. Here's a question. Is there intelligent life beyond our planet? A very slow Yes. Are there secrets of our universe? No answer. The question is, will humanity eventually unlock the secrets of the universe? And the answer is no. So I was really trying to get what secrets were on the universe first. Okay, next question. Is it possible for pets to experience a sensation similar to the ones we experience while watching ASMR? Very clear, no. So pets are not able to get ASMR in the same way that we do. Here's the final question. Do words in a song affect how we feel when we listen to it? No. Okay. So, so is it mostly the tune that shapes our emotions? No. So then it must be very personal to people who listen to music. Okay, very good. That's kind of what I thought. So there isn't really a one size sort of fits all when it comes to that. Very good. Well, thank you uh, for answering these questions. And thank you, DKA Samar, for this custom video. I appreciate you and I love you. And I will talk to you very soon.